some of my past writings, I did stuff on what we were generating on this planet. And we have, we have new problems when we're generating. We, as humans, generate a lot of trash. And archaeologists, is archaeologists? Yeah. Um, study old civilization by the mounds of trash they find. Um, hey, people had trash uh, landfills, too. What do you do in a, in a city that's 5,000 years old? Uh, and you go back there, and uh, Babylonia, what was it, Babylonia, Iraq, um, they, they produce trash, and they try to keep their streets clean, then they, they had a trash dump. Rome had, had one of their trash dumps, too. Um, uh, what was those two cities of uh, Gamoa? Yeah, whatever it is. The ones who uh, were processing... That, that raised up, in a very short time, a civilization uh, on salt, because salt was extremely important in the old, old world, because it's basically salted meat, salted fish. And, um, and the whole, whole thing, I've, everybody had a mine shaft in their backyard, and when they basically petered out, <laughs> petered out salt, saltpeter uh out they they tossed their garbage in it which was pretty nice but as it builds up methane yes and it wasn't too sh short you know they they hey you have a salt mine in your backyard yeah what do you do with, what do you do with it when it's basically petered out yeah you take it and you throw your garbage down there and it's self self igniting and uh, what they couldn't scrape off the walls caught fire and literally blew up <laughs> the thing between methane gas and the saltpeter was still in the what if you literally you're sitting on a bomb it blew up the up the uh, thing Oh God! Is this is God that you know, all it's self self destruction, like what we're doing, and really on grand scale. Um, self destruction. Uh, so I I made a comment in the past about why do we need two billion people, and that's what we've had since uh, the year two thousand. Two billion extra bodies on our planet. And I always love the thing. Oh, we got to do something about the seal too. We got to do something about this. We got to cut our emissions. That's true. But you just added two billion more people, and by the end of this decade, and this is being processed at uh, 2022. By the end of this decade, we should have a close to another billion people, though. So that's going to be nine billion people. And we produce a lot of waste. Just being, even though we have recycling, every every everybody has a recycling. They got a, a, a landfill uh, dumpster and a recycling dumpster. You know the blue ones. You recycle your paper, your plastic. You recycle this. You recycle, but most of the stuff isn't recyclable. It's all landfill. And. <clears throat> We produce a lot of poop. And I put it this way. During World War II, remember we, we sold all our used cars, all that scrap metal from Model T's? Yeah, the next thing. But all that scrap metal came back to us. The Japanese returned it to us. They bought all the old cars and processed the metal and returned it, a lot of it to us on December 7th 1941 that was returned to Pearl Harbor <laughs> oh you don't even want me one yeah I think but again you know a lot of tin cans were made you know nobody realized what we could do in this country what what our capability was to producing airplanes or ships and we were pounding them out we were producing a lot of pollution 
Oh, yeah. Our, our, our steel mills were going 24 hours a day. Our production lines were going 24 hours a day. And those who didn't go off and f fight in a war were here piling this stuff up. And we recycled everything. Yeah, all the tin cans, all this, all that. Yeah, simply you said, we also recycle lard. Think of it. We recycle lard. The lard drives. Okay. But we still produce a lot of things. I have a car and I, I recycled it. Unfortunately, I couldn't get it repaired. So I had a perfectly good car and what happened to it? It was recycled. And what did it do? It's basically it's going to be crushed up. Yeah. The, uh, it's all going to be crushed up in a little block. And it's going to be sent to Japan, Korea, India, to be made into Hondas so they can be returned to the country. And we do a lot of recycling, but we have a big problem. There was, I wrote about a, a fire in, in one of the, like, West Virginia or something. And that was a dumping ground for tires. And they had this piles and piles of tire tires. And it caught fire. And you talk you talk about all these things, really hot, hot fires. I mean they, they were a couple thousand degrees. And the whole, they couldn't put it out because they couldn't get into the interior of the tire, mounds of tires. And you had this pollution going on for, for a longest time. They poured water on it. But they couldn't get into the heart of it. They could get into the surface. And it just went and went. And it was most likely, he said before it broke out, it's something started inside and... That is a big problem. And if you think that's a problem, think of this. Windmills. The blades. They don't know how to recycle them. It's like plastic bottles, folks. We can recycle them into oil, because that's what they're made out of. Or we can re cycle them into park benches right sometimes we can recycle them into clothing right but most of the stuff we we have to burn yeah and if you're a third world nation what do you do with this stuff you burn it but there's another problem the batteries out of this laptop Basically, it should not hit a landfill, but has to be recycled. So all the batteries of all the laptops, all the batteries of all your cell phones, all the batteries of all your little flashlights, or if all, all those should be re recycled. But they're not. Because you, it's a real problem recycling this stuff. And yes, because when you get to the... Uh, rechargeable batteries you're talking a totally different different type of battery and look at the teslas cars you have about what 300,000 tesla put out three two hundred thousand three hundred thousand and oh yeah yeah look i got a electric car what do you do with a battery recycle it really uh-huh think about it the uh lithium when exposed to air, burns. You ever see a lithium fire from a car? Mm -hmm. You're sitting on a bomb. Some of the electric vehicles, they say, do not put inside your house. Do not put inside your garage because you have a problem with it. You mean I got a problem with my $60,000 car? <laughs> yeah, it burns. It can, it can ignite in your house. Not all the batteries are uh, 
if there's a pinhole in it? Um, yeah. Uh, do they burn? Oh, well, you want to find out why? One of the things, if you, you know, um, what was it? Uh, Microsoft Surfaces. Um, they would bulge. Yeah. That means they got a problem with the battery. And you, as some people would say, they would catch fire. Yeah, airplanes don't like to see things like that. They don't like to see laptops put in luggage in the in the hole of a, a plane. But we also have solar cells. Things get damaged, those solar cells. And how do you process them? Well, there's gold in these things, and there's silvers in these things, and there's lead in these things, and there's this and that. And they're like the blades of the windmills. They're burying this stuff. They're just having piles of this stuff because they don't know how to process, reprocess this stuff. But isn't this stuff worth a lot of money? Yes, it is! You know the old saying, um, computers, the old, the old desktops? A lot of gold in those things. But it's a thin layer of gold on the... Um, on the the RAM, very thin layer. It was, in the earlier ones, it was a lot thicker, but then they did be able to learn how to vaporize on top of this stuff. It became thinner and thinner and thinner. But there's a lot of, a lot of lead in it. Yes, on the motherboard, there's lead in it. Yes, there's lead in this stuff. Then there's steel, and there's aluminum, and there's plastic now. This all stuff has to be processed, and just because we make it, it doesn't mean we can we can reprocess this stuff. We are very wasteful, and you gotta remember, this stuff is no longer being accepted in, in a third world co co country. They're no longer capable of processing this stuff. And the hard drives, look look at your hard drives. They used to be actually a physical hard drive, a big thick one. Yeah, and it got smaller. Hard drives, like in a laptop, in a regular uh, desktop, oh, they became smaller, and then they become solid state, and all that has to have the thing. <clears throat> and anything can go wrong. Yeah, anything can go wrong. Uh, the laptop, I was told, and this one has a strip. No, what is it? You know, a strip. That's a, uh, is not, it's not just the RAM thing. It's the strip is, uh, is the um, hard drive or uh, SSD. And that has to be processed too, properly. But what really, really, really in a lot of countries, they, they get this stuff in and they burn it. Third world countries don't have the, the facilities to process this stuff. Uh, the keyboards are made out of plastic. This is made out of plastic. That is that thing. And then, then you got the motherboard. And you got lead on the motherboard. They get this stuff. And uh, are they going to pull the gold off of there? In practicality, it's not worth pulling the gold off of any stuff anymore. And you look at the uh, stuff, it's, they're solid state boards. Um, the surfaces, uh, the very beginning ones, they used to have little uh, SSDs inside, okay? And there were different components. You had the case, and then you had the screen, and below the screen you had a motherboard with the uh, plug-in that thing, and then you had the battery. And those batteries would go. They would age, <clears throat> you know. The something made in 2012 of that is very likely after 10 years. Um, well, after 10 years, what is there? There's a case. There's a screen. Uh, there's a solid state motherboard. The uh, SSD is is on the motherboard, and you still have a battery. And what happens if something? If you drop it, 
you break you break the screen and then uh, you're going to pay five hundred dollars to have it replaced or not. So, okay, I'm at my fifteen minutes. I better stop. Okay, goodbye.